There is a new way of creating multiple consistent characters in an image, and it doesn't require any editing software or manual work. It's really powerful, and let me show you. So OpenArt just released a new update, and if you've seen my previous videos, you know that it's really easy to create consistent characters using this platform. We can train a character model starting with only one image, or using multiple images for even better consistency. This is what I recommend to most of my clients when creating stories and animations. I will get into how you can get multiple images of a character later in this video for those that want to put a little more effort to get even better results. For the sake of this video, I will create two characters from scratch and using only a description. This is the laziest way of creating consistent characters and you'll see how good the results turn out even when we go with the easy approach. So let's pick this option here and start with the description. All right, once this window pops up, we have the option to pick a name for our character. Maybe you already have a character and a name, which is even better. I will start with picking a style. As you see, there are a bunch of different styles and you can always describe the style if it isn't among the options down here. I will go with a watercolor style for this one. For the name, I will just go with Bob. Pretty basic, I know. Shout out to all the bobs out there. Make sure you subscribe. For the description, focus on the appearance and the clothes. If you have a hard time coming up with a description, you can use something like ChatGPT to help you describe a character. I will not waste time on that. For this video, I will go with something basic like a 10-year-old boy wearing red cap and blue shirt, blue pants and white sneakers. I will also describe his hair and it's going to be black short hair. And there we go, we've already decided on the watercolor style, so let's click on Create Previews. This is a great feature in my opinion. Instead of having the AI immediately train a model for our character, we get three preview images of what our character could look like. And all of the variations seems to follow what we have described. Red cab, blue clothes and white sneakers. With that said, if we don't like the characters, we can click on Regenerate Previews and pick between three new variations. Let's see what we get this time. They have all looked great so far, so I'll just pick this one here to the left. Once you've decided on the variation, click on the blue button that says create character and you're done. The AI will now train a model so that we can generate any pose, angle and scene we can imagine of our character. In the meantime, let's create a new character because I want to show you the new multiple consistent character feature. And besides that, our young character definitely needs a friend. Let's repeat the same process. This character will be a young girl and her name will be Jennifer. For the description, I wrote a 10 year old girl wearing blue cap, red shirt and pants and white sneakers, blonde hair. So the color of the clothes should be opposite of the boy. I think that could add a funny contrast. I'll pick the watercolor style for this one as well and it helps to maintain the consistency of our story. Most often, people like to keep the same style, unless you're creating something like Space Jam. Why not? Again, we got three images, I'll regenerate and see if we can get even better results. And as you might have noticed, the images are generated very fast and you do not need to wait that long. Alright, I'll go with the one in the middle, we have a clear view of her face and she does look like to be the same age as our boy character. Now that we've decided on the characters, we need to wait for a few minutes until the character models are ready and we can finally get some consistent results. All right, once it's finished, they should appear under my characters section and when you hover over them, you should be able to click on create. Now on the creation page, we have three options, prompt and reference, pose your character and place your character in an image. I will go with the top one prompt and reference for this video. However, the pose your character one is really great if you want more control. This is what I use as part of my workflow when working with authors and storytellers. You can control poses and camera angles using a 3D model. Now the new feature here is this button where you can add another character. So we already have our boy and we need to add the girl as the second character. We can see it in the prompt section as well. The text in blue says Bob and you need to include that for the AI model to generate images of your character. Now let's add the girl and now we see that the name of our second character is also added in the prompt. Now for the prompt, let's write Bob and Jennifer are having a picnic between two snowy mountains. It doesn't really matter where you put the names of your character, well except when you want to describe that they're doing different things in the image. 
and at the bottom I can change the amount of images I want to generate. I'll keep it at two to get some variations and where it says output size, I'll pick landscape. This is where we choose the aspect ratio. Another thing that's worth mentioning is the enhanced prompt setting. If you want the AI to improve your prompt, you can change it to on or auto. Sometimes it gives you even better images when turned on. And it's great when you haven't thought about every detail in the image. I generated two images without the prompt enhancer and two images with the settings turned on. And these are the first images we got. I can immediately see something that we can improve to get better results. But first, let's see what it did right. So the colors of their clothes and cap are correct. They are indeed having a picnic and we see the snowy mountains in the background. However, the boy doesn't look like he's 10 years old. He appears to be much older. We got similar results with the next two images where we had the prompt enhancer on. So to solve our problem, I just need to include keywords like kids and 10 years old. So we have Bob and Jennifer, 10 year old kids sitting and having a picnic. Now let's create two more images and see what we get. And here we go. Much, much better. Now they both appear to be around the same age and they do look like the characters we chose from the start. And again, the clothes and appearance looks great and it is very consistent. The background doesn't show snowy mountains, but it's because I didn't include it in the prompt for these images. Here are the images of our characters jumping over a fence. And this is what it can look like once you turn it into a video. Lastly, after a long day filled with activities, our characters end up on a roof, eating pizza and enjoying the view of the city. If you are wondering how I turned the images into a video, it was inside OpenArc. Just click on the image, then click on this button here to the right that says image to video. Once you're on this page, choose one of the video models, Kling or Hunyuan. In my opinion, Kling is much better. For the prompt, I wrote a simple description, a boy and a girl jumping over a fence, midair. Next, we can include negative keywords like blurry, low quality, deformities, morphing, and pixelated. This helps to create more consistent and better quality videos. For the creativity level, the lower you go, the more consistent videos you will get. However, it can also generate a video with barely any movement. On the other hand, if you go with higher creativity, it will include more motion and movement of the characters. However, it might result in some inconsistency. With that said, I know that Kling has improved a lot, so I will increase the creativity for more movement and choose the pro quality. These together with my description and the negative prompts should give me something decent. And here we go. There is a link below in the description of this video to open art for creating multiple consistent characters and training a character model for your next story. And if you need help bringing your story to life, make sure to contact me and send me an email. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, for this last part, I want to show you how I train even more consistent characters with a little more effort. So using the character sheet and action sheet features inside open art, I can generate images of our character in various angles and poses. This is what I usually do to train a model with more images and in return get even better results. However, sometimes you create a character sheet or action sheet, but there are some bad results or deformities. In this example, we have the legs of our girl rotated and facing the wrong side. For the untrained eye, this seems useless, but to solve this, we can just save the image and open it inside Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, you can use something like photopea.com, which is like a web-based free version of Photoshop. And here you can do what I am about to show you inside Photoshop. So to fix the leg of our character, first I select the girl, copy and paste it on a new white background, Next, I copy the leg and rotate it vertically. Now we can remove the other leg behind it and use liquify and fix some details. Speaking of details, I used the brush tool with low opacity and added some color to the pants until it merged with the rest. Now this isn't the best results, but it's a quick demo to show you how you can fix deformities with some manual work. And let's select the sneakers and make it a little brighter and white. There we go. Now this looks much better. Alright, don't forget to subscribe and like this video, check out the links below and thank you for watching and see you in the next one.